Sugar, a sweet crystalline substance, is a ubiquitous part of our daily lives, found in everything from the cookies we snack on to the beverages we drink. But have you ever paused to consider how this essential ingredient is made? The journey from sugarcane to sugar is a fascinating process that involves a blend of science, technology, and tradition. Join us as we delve deep into the world of sugar production, exploring the history, the science, and the art behind the sweet transformation. Chapter one, the beginnings of sugar. The story of sugar begins in ancient times, with its origins tracing back to regions like India, China, and New Guinea. It was here that people first discovered the sweet juice of sugarcane and began to cultivate, recognizing its potential as a source of energy and a natural sweetener. These early civilizations started to harness the power of sugarcane. As time passed, the cultivation of sugarcane spread beyond its original regions. The knowledge and techniques for growing and processing sugarcane traveled to the Middle East and North Africa, where it was further refined and integrated into local cuisines and cultures. From there, the journey continued, reaching the shores of the Americas through trade and exploration. The history of sugar is a testament to human ingenuity and the desire for sweetness. Over the centuries, this humble crop transformed from a regional curiosity into a global staple. It played a significant role in shaping economies, influencing trade routes, and connecting diverse cultures. Today, sugar is an integral part of our daily lives, a testament to its enduring appeal and universal importance. Chapter two, the rise of sugar plantations. The demand for sugar has been gradually increasing over several centuries, which has resulted in the creation of large-scale sugar plantations in various tropical locations, including the Caribbean, South America, and other areas. These plantations became the epicenters of sugar production as a result of the need for sugar in European markets. There is a strong connection between the history of these sugar estates and the dreadful history of slavery. The proprietors of sugar plantations relied largely on the labor of enslaved people from Africa to meet the labor-intensive needs of the sugar manufacturing industry. The folks in question were taken against their will from their native regions and forced to endure life-threatening circumstances on the plantations. Working on a sugar plantation was a difficult and brutal way of life. Workers who were enslaved were forced to toil for long hours under the sweltering sun, undertaking laborious jobs such as planting, harvesting, and processing sugarcane. Despite the terrible treatment they received and the arduous job they were required to perform, their labor was essential to the production of sugar, which was a commodity that was in high demand in Europe. Chapter three, modern sugar production. In today's world, sugar is produced on an enormous scale, primarily from two sources, sugarcane and sugar beets. The journey of sugar begins with the cultivation of these crops, which thrive in different climates. Sugarcane, a tall grass that can reach heights of up to six meters, is typically grown in tropical regions. On the other hand, sugar beets, root vegetables that grow underground, are cultivated in temperate areas. The cultivation process for both crops is intensive and requires careful management. Sugarcane is planted in furrows and thrives in hot, sunny climates with ample rainfall. It takes about 12 to 18 months to mature before it can be harvested. Once ready, the tall stalks are cut down and transported to mills for processing. Sugar beets are sown in well-prepared soil and need a cooler climate to grow. These beets are typically harvested after about five to six months. Once harvested, they are cleaned and transported to factories for further processing. Both sugarcane and sugar beets undergo a series of steps to extract the sugar. In the case of sugarcane, the stalks are crushed to extract the juice, which is then clarified to remove impurities. This juice is boiled to evaporate the water, leaving behind thick concentrated syrup. This syrup is crystallized, and the crystals are separated from the molasses through centrifugation. The sugar crystals are then dried and packaged for distribution. For sugar beets, the process is slightly different. 
The beets are sliced into thin strips known as cassettes and immersed in hot water to extract the sugar. This extraction process yields a juice that is then purified, concentrated, and crystallized similarly to the sugar cane process. Modern sugar production relies heavily on technology and mechanization to ensure efficiency and high yield. From the precise planting and harvesting machinery to the advanced purification and crystallization techniques, the industry has evolved significantly to meet the global demand for sugar. The result is the familiar white granules that sweeten countless foods and beverages around the world. Chapter 4, Drying and Packaging. Once the sugar crystals are separated, they undergo a thorough washing process to eliminate any remaining molasses. This washing is crucial to ensure the purity of the sugar. Following this, the crystals are dried to remove all moisture, a step that is essential for maintaining the quality and longevity of the sugar. After drying, the sugar crystals are meticulously sorted by size and color. This sorting ensures uniformity and quality in the final product. The sorted sugar is then carefully packaged for distribution, ready to be delivered to consumers and businesses. Interestingly, the leftover molasses is not discarded. Instead, it is repurposed to create valuable products such as animal feed and alcoholic beverages demonstrating a commitment to sustainability and resourcefulness in the sugar production process. Chapter 5, The Future of Sugar Production. As the global population expands, the demand for sugar is poised to rise. However, the environmental impact of sugar production, especially from sugarcane plantations, is becoming an increasing concern. Researchers are actively exploring innovative technologies and methods to make sugar production more sustainable. One promising approach involves the use of biodegradable mulches. These mulches help retain soil moisture, reduce weed growth, and minimize the need for chemical herbicides. By breaking down naturally, they also contribute to soil health, reducing the environmental footprint of sugarcane farming. Improving irrigation efficiency is another crucial focus. Traditional irrigation methods often lead to significant water waste, but modern techniques like drip irrigation deliver water directly to the plant roots, reducing waste and improving crop yields. This not only conserves water, but also enhances the overall efficiency of sugar production. Moreover, advancements in genetic research are paving the way for developing sugarcane varieties that are more resistant to pests and diseases, require fewer resources, and yield higher amounts of sugar. These innovations hold the potential to transform sugar production, making it more environmentally friendly and economically viable. Thank you for joining us on this journey through the fascinating world of sugar production. From its humble beginnings to the latest advancements in sustainable practices, We've explored how this essential commodity is made and the efforts to make its production more eco-friendly. If you enjoyed this video and learned something new, please give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more insightful content about the processes behind everyday products. Hit the notification bell so you never miss an update. We'd love to hear your thoughts and questions in the comments below. What aspect of sugar production surprised you the most? Are there other topics you'd like us to cover? Thanks for watching and until next time, stay curious and keep learning.